What's up ladies and gents and welcome back to Age of Empires Definitive Edition. Actually Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition, I'm very sorry, I'm stuck in the wrong game still. Um, we're back here with the William Wallace campaign, Mission 3, Training the Troops. In villages throughout the Highlands, there is grim talk of skirmishes between Scotland and England. We lost the town of Dunbar this week. Scottish defenders broke ranks and fled. The English have an army that is larger and better trained. To compete with them, we are going to need new recruits to pick up spear, sword and bow. We must transform these shepherds into soldiers. Yes, but we also need shepherds because well, we need food to get soldiers trained for militia. Always explore the map. You will need to locate some extra resources and find out what your enemies are doing. We will need many soldiers to defend our homeland. To win, you will need to create four militia. We'll start by creating villagers. Click your town center. Wrong button. Click the create villager button. Oh, playing both Age of Empires games at once is a bit of a problem. If your town center is selected, you can see the progress in the status area at the bottom of your screen. Why can't I garrison them? Good job. The villager has appeared next to your town center. No, that's not correct. You need additional housing to support your population. To build a house, click a villager. Click the buildings button. Click the build house button. Then click where you want to build the house. Good job. Try building another house. Each house supports five units. The population indicator at the top of the screen shows your current and supportable population. If more than one villager builds a building, it will go up faster. Other buildings are made just like houses. Try building a barracks. The barracks is a military building. I'm letting that guy talk a bit, but he's not really saying very many informative things. And I'm trying to get back into the hotkeys, which I completely unlearned while playing AOE 1. It's a bit of a shame, but I don't know. Must be stuff somewhere, right? Some berries, maybe, or some some animals that we can hunt, something. Barracks complete. Now you can create soldiers. Click the barracks. Then click I just can't the find anything. Selecting we need to build farms. Gives you different options in the lower left corner of the screen. I mean, if that's the thing, we will build farms. But... Oh well, farms it will be. There we go, there we go, there we go. Two, what? We need four of them, okay. We can do that. Alright. That's one militia unit. Create three more and you will have enough soldiers to protect this area and win the scenario. Click the barracks and quickly click the create militia button three more times to make three soldiers in a row. Yes, I need resources first. They cost 60 and I only have 59. <clears throat> I like how they kept kind of to the style of a classic game, but it really looks wildly different and modern. It's pretty cool, right? And we've done it. have a few soldiers, you'll be able to defend this area against English attacks. So where's the attack? Nowhere. Oh, that's fine by me. Militias stationed across the border. The English have slowed their raids. 
but facing Longshank's army will be another matter. The wicked English king is yet to bring his famous longbows to bear. Our militias can only get us so far. We're going to need more advanced weapons. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and until next time, farewell.